Hey everyone, this is Kaijor, and welcome back to my devlog series about the game engine I'm creating using the Julia programming language. We're going to talk about the one trick that I've been using to streamline the development of my engine. If you want to know what that is without watching the rest of the video, it's making games. But there are some nuances to that, so if you're interested in how I've been going about this, stick around and I'll talk about the most recent game I created with my engine. Before that, I'm going to talk about the massive changes I've made since the last video. Before we go on, let's review where we were at with my engine in the last devlog. The engine was very simple, and this is what I had in terms of gameplay. I think at this point, the engine doesn't play sounds, and I was just getting started adding half-decent gravity and collisions for my rigid body. Every change I wanted to make for the engine had to be done in the code. This made creating a game level for the game super tedious because every time I wanted to check a change for the game I would have to rerun it. If only I had a level editor things would be so much easier. So what have I been doing for eight months? Well there's a few things. I've been making it easier to work on games with my own engine. I found that the best way to do this is just by making games. As someone who's been making games for years now, I've been heavily exposed to the Unity game engine. I think after using that for so long, I have gained a bit of intuition for what feels good and what feels bad when using an engine for making games. Obviously, a good bit is up to personal preference, but at this point, that's all I can go on. So I made the Jester. The Jester is a 2D platformer made for my very own game jam, the April Fool's Jam in which the idea of the game was to fool the player. It's a very simple 2D game as you can see. Since there was no level editor, I went with a very simple map that is basically just one screen. After I finished working on the Jester, I went straight into creating a level editor for Jewel Game, even though I told myself I was going to take a break. The level editor was very hard for me because I had to bring in another dependency that I was unfamiliar with, I am GUI. Mind you, this is basically a port of I am GUI to Julia, which comes with some caveats. I can't actually render my scene with I am GUI, so I have to use a separate window that runs SDL along with it. This makes things not so seamless, and I definitely need to fix this in the future, but it's good enough for me now. Anyways, the level editor makes things so much easier for me. I can add components like sprites, sounds, and I can even edit animations with the editor. I can add scripts and pass different arguments to them like you would in Unity. All of this is cool and much better than coding it, but it's still very primitive and buggy. Regardless, I am happy with what we have so far. Finally, my most recent project was creating an online multiplayer game with my engine. Right now, you might be thinking that's a stretch with such a simple engine. I haven't even implemented networking. How can I even go about this? Well, I'm kind of cheating here, but it's still multiplayer. I used Firebase. The pretty cool thing about Firebase is that I can make HTTP requests, which is pretty easy for Julia to do. So to keep it short, I made a little arcade game where you race to grab all the coins as a player. The players basically use Firebase as a middleman to keep track of their positions. I based this off a tutorial from another YouTuber who shows how to use Firebase to make a game with JavaScript. This will finally segue into how I plan to improve the engine moving forward. The way I want to improve the engine is by following tutorials. That may seem weird to you because I'm way past needing a tutorial to create my engine, but I won't be following tutorials to create engine features. I will follow them to create games with my engine. The reason why I'll be doing this is because I can pick and choose projects to make and have an idea of what the engine needs in terms of features to be added to make that happen. This will give me simple goals and help me iron out bugs as I'm actually using my engine to make games. I will also figure out quality of life features I want to add to the engine when I run into snags with mine. I can say I added a decent amount of features to the engine while I was creating the Jester. I hope to continue this pattern until I have something usable for other people. Well, it's time for me to get back to work. Thanks for watching. Bye.